hello youtubers I don't buy nitric acid for use in uh, dissolving gold in aqua regia because out nitric acid is just outrageously expensive and any potential profit would be gone up in smoke with uh, what it costs for to buy nitric acid plus it's it's a hazardous substance and there's there's special fees for shipping on top of all that and of course you know it can be used to make explosives so you know it's possible that the feds are going to be wanting to know what I'm doing with it if I'm buying large quantities of nitric acid so for the cost of what one liter bottle of concentrated nitric acid would cost me I bought this whole distillation apparatus now it's cheap made in China and you know for as long as it took to get to me it must have took a slow boat from China too and it was all packed pretty badly too. I am shocked, shocked to say that it all got here without anything breaking. Um, not even the thermometer, which, where did it go? It's over here. There's the thermometer. Nothing is broken, even though the packaging, it, it was just, it was basically just stuck in. They, they, they made a package out of this foam and lots of tape basically. And that was, that was how they shipped it to me. And I am absolutely shocked that nothing was broken. So, got lucky, probably. But, uh, so with this distillation apparatus, I can make as much concentrated nitric acid as I want. This is what I'm going to be doing in the future, because there's really no substitute for nitric acid for some things. I'm trying to dissolve some gold right now outside in some poor man's aqua regia, and it is taking the age of the universe to work. And I knew if I just had, you know, real nitric acid, this would probably go a lot quicker. So, and, and you know, the real nitric acid is is good for other things. You know, you can dissolve um, silver with it. Whereas, if you try to do poor man's aqua, uh, poor man's nitric acid with with either uh, sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid, you're going to be making insoluble comp silver compounds, and you're just it's just going to make it very difficult to dissolve the silver. So, you know, with 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 real nitric acid you can do that so there's just really no substitute for nitric acid for lots of things real nitric acid I'm gonna be able to make my own real nitric acid soon so I bought a few accessories for it too I bought some more hose because it didn't come with much hose for the condenser and um, I bought some fittings so I can uh, hook the hook the hose up to a garden hose get a low flow from the garden hose through the condenser Somewhere around here, I need to dig it out. I've got some, I've got some stands, and some clamps, and all kinds of other accessories for for chemistry use. So I can, I can put this all together. Um, I probably need to make an oil bath for the uh, distillation flask there, and uh, so it's not exposed to you know direct flame or anything like that because it is cheap glass. I mean, I'm sure it's some sort of borosilicate but you know it's cheap made in China crap so I don't want to stress it too much so you know make it make an oil bath or something so I don't overheat it and uh, I'll start making nitric acid and uh, I bought I bought like five pounds of sodium nitrate too you know it was dirt cheap so I'll use that and um, sulfuric acid drain opener and I should be able to make concentrated nitric acid all day long, dirt cheap. I'll uh, I'll show you that when it's happening. Okay, that's coming together nicely. I knew I had some uh, some stands and uh, clamps around, so I think that's going to work. I'll uh, I'll put the hot plate with the uh, oil bath under the. Uh, the boiling flask there and I'll be able to um, pull off the condensing flask when it's full or I could put a, a beaker under there to catch the uh, initial distillate and uh, swap it for the uh, condensing flask once I uh, get the full strength stuff so that's that's good that's coming together oh and I forgot one of the accessories that came with it was some uh, pH paper in Chinese. Interesting. Well, hopefully it works good. I mean, how wrong can they get pH paper, right? 
All right, it won't be much longer, and I'll be making nitric acid. Maybe not tomorrow. Tomorrow's my birthday, and I got other plans with my fiance. We're going to do some stuff. But maybe the day after, I'll make my first uh, nitric acid run. We'll see. Keep watching. All right, folks, finally the day has arrived to start making my own nitric acid. I got the uh, distillation apparatus all set up. I got a, I got the uh, boiling flask in a uh, bath of oil over here on top of the hot plate, just starting to heat up. I got water flowing through the condenser. And I got the receiving flask down here. I'm not going to pack the receiving flask with ice. I, I have actually, this is not actually the first time I've made nitric acid. I've done it before with homemade apparatus that lasted maybe one or two uses before it fell apart. And um, I've, I've never had to cool the receiving flask. It's, uh, you know, the nitric acid condenses in the condenser and drops into the receiving flask. So I think it'll be fine. We'll see how this goes with professional apparatus, though. It's just now starting to heat up. Nothing's coming over yet. And uh, hopefully I'll get a, a good yield of nitric acid. Okay, it's been a few minutes. I uh, put some aluminum foil insulation around it to keep uh, heat in and light out. Things have heated up. You can see you've got a pretty vigorous reaction going on over here in the boiling flask. In fact, I just turned the heat down because it's starting to look like it might be getting a little too vigorous. Oh, here we go liquid coming across nice I'm sure it's not pure nitric acid the uh, sodium nitrate I'm using probably wasn't perfectly dry the sulfuric acid probably not perfectly dry but it'll pretty be pretty concentrated I will probably dilute it down to the 68 percent azeotrope because that's going to be more than strong enough for what I need and it'll be less dangerous to handle it's gonna let this run for a while probably take a an hour or so to, to complete the distillation. I'll probably go clean the pool while I'm waiting. Let's see, yeah, the temperature's coming up. Yeah. Won't focus. There we go. Temperature's coming up. So, yep, we're making nitric acid. It's a beautiful thing. And I think I said earlier this whole setup cost me less than a one liter jug of concentrated nitric acid with shipping. Amazing. Trying to find a happy medium on the uh, heat setting with my uh, hot plate. Somewhere between looking like it's going to boil over and grinding to an almost complete halt. There has to be a, a, a perfect setting for this distillation. I turned it down, but it looks like I turned it down too much, so I'm going to creep the temperature up again slowly until I get a good vigorous reaction going, but it uh, doesn't look like it's going to boil over. So. It's collecting. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, I think I have found the happy medium setting. Got a good vigorous reaction going. Doesn't look like it's going to boil over. Liquid's coming over at a pretty good rate. We're just below 80 C. And if memory serves, the boiling point for nitric acid is about 83 C. So we're, we're doing good. Just going to let this run, check on it periodically, and uh, go do some chores. The pool needs cleaning badly. I got started on it, but I keep running over here to check this. So let me go back and... Uh, get some of that done. Okay, this hot plate officially sucks. Everything seemed to be going so good. I walked away for a little bit. I come back, I find it on the brink of boiling over. The temperature's way above 80. Liquid's coming across at a crazy rate. So I turned it down again. I'm not sure why this thing isn't uh, maintaining a more consistent temperature. Because huh. it seemed to be running fine for a while. 
Okay, it seems to be back under control again as long as it doesn't grind to a halt. It's like that temperature knob is really touchy. Probably going to need a better hot plate. I could definitely use a two burner hot plate because while I'm doing this, I can't do anything else. Kind of dead in the water otherwise. Okay, this has been going on for about an hour and a quarter now. And uh, the temperature on the thermometer has shot up, if it'll focus, to almost 100 degrees C. Um, there's not much going on in the boiling flask anymore. The liquid's coming over pretty darn slowly. I think it's time to just call it and shut this down and let it start cooling down so I can disassemble it and clean it and get my uh, nitric acid. Which, yeah, that's a, that's a fair amount in this uh, 500 milliliter beaker. So, it'll be even more once it's diluted to 68%. So this worked pretty well, and it was a little quicker than I thought it would be. I thought it would take between an hour and an hour and a half, two hours. But uh, we're done in a little over an hour. So let me shut it down and get it started cooling down. Okay, things have cooled down some. And I poured the uh, nitric acid I made out of the round bottom flask into this beaker. And it's just short of 100 milliliters of uh, highly concentrated red fuming nitric acid. Not too bad for a little over an hour's reaction time. I started out with um, 220 grams of sodium nitrate and about 150 milliliters of, of uh, sulfuric acid drain opener. And I honestly probably could have let this run a little while longer. There's, you know, I probably could have got more out, but uh, I was getting a lot of brown fumes. The nitric acid was starting to decompose, so I think I stopped it at just about the right time. So here's a classic test. I've got a, uh, a nitrile glove here, and I'm just going to put a little of this acid on it, and we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, that is some concentrated nitric acid. This is why they say you should not wear gloves when working with nitric acid. So, ooh, that is some stinky smoke, too. Okay, so that is some seriously concentrated acid. I'm going to dilute that. Like I said, I'm going to dilute it down to uh, 68%. I'm going to assume it's around 90. It may be a little, little, maybe a little bit more. It may be up around 95, 98, something like that. But I'm going to dilute it. I'm going to assume it's like 90% and dilute it down to about 68%. And uh, I've got a uh, amber storage bottle for it so the light won't break it down and uh, I will be using this for gold refining finally I have nitric acid that doesn't cost me an arm and a leg this is beautiful okay the nitric acid synthesis went relatively painlessly I don't know if it's showing up in the video but there's roughly 132 milliliters of the dilute acid in my uh, brown acid bottle. Um, as with most things, the cleanup is the hard part. Um, getting rid of the, the motor oil I was using for the uh, oil bath for heating. I just dump it back in the bottle it came from. I'll reuse it in the future. Um, dissolving the big slug of uh, sodium bisulfate, or it's in here. That's going to take a while. And um, there were a few casualties. The, uh, the O-ring up here for where the, uh, where the thermometer enters the... Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what that piece is called. But where the thermometer enters there, the O-ring is shot. So I'll have to buy some more O-rings and see if I can get something a little more resistant to nitric acid. Or just plug it and go without the thermometer. I don't know. And one keck clip. I guess uh, I probably need to start sealing the joints 
with uh, concentrated sulfuric acid before I do the uh, distillation because I guess enough fumes came out to ruin this Keck clip. The others seem to be okay. I'm going to order some more Keck clips off of uh, Amazon anyway just so I have some spares. And I did spill a little bit transferring it to the bottle over here so uh, yeah fortunately it was already diluted so there were no flames but it did tear up the uh, the cardboard I have on top of the table here a little bit but that's okay that's what the cardboard's for but uh, hey I've got my hot plate back so I'm working on another project with it already while I'm cleaning up the uh, nitric acid synthesis so okay like I said this went relatively painlessly I've got my nitric acid and I'll probably be using it in a day or so to uh, dissolve some uh, some impure gold powder that I dropped from a solution so it can be uh, purified with another uh, with another drop from solution so hopefully it'll work good we'll see thanks for watching